Hi. So today's video is going to be a little different. It's going to be spread out throughout the month. So I love reading, you know, like I love reading. I am one of those kids who reads for fun. My plan is to read four books this month. I will be reading They Both Die in the End, The Hate You Give, All the Right Places, and Looking for Alaska. I have They Both Die in the End, which is what I'm going to start today. Let's get started on reading. <laughs> Like six pages in and it's funny. I, I'm enjoying this so far. I'm not very far, but I'm enjoying it. I just felt like I had to say this. So I'm on page 79 and the last sentence of this chapter says, no matter how we choose to live, we both die at the end. And I don't know about you guys, but I think I have a problem because I get attached to characters too fast. Um, literally page 79 and I was like tearing up at that because I love both of them um, already and I'm like attached. Like I'm literally attached to them. I, I know they're gonna die. It's called they're both, they both die at the end and like the plot is that they, they're, it's their last day of living, so I know they're gonna die, but I'm, I was like tearing up at that, like I don't want them to die. I feel like I'm, it's gonna be so sad, but I'm definitely gonna cry. You were right. <laughs> Hi. I just wanted to update, I am like halfway through. It is so good. <laughs> I literally love this book so much. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna finish it today. I don't know how I'm gonna react when someone actually dies. Like, I I am gonna cry. Like, I will be surrounded in a pool of my tears. I tried to scream, but my head was in the water. I am so scared. I feel like I'm gonna cry soon, and I will film that for your viewing pleasure. I am such an ugly crier. Like, be prepared. I am such a good YouTuber. Whoa ho! Oh, oops. <laughs> um, let's find what page I was on. I was, you know, I was looking for my page, flipped to a page, and I saw something. This isn't sad tears, this, this is happy tears. Okay, now these are kind of sadness, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh no, something's gonna happen, I think something's gonna happen. Not me tearing up editing this. <laughs> yeah, something's gonna happen. I have a bad feeling. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. So hi, I'm back. Just finished reading. They both die at the end. Okay. Like, okay, I say I love sad stories, and I do. I love sad books. Yeah, like when I'm reading it, I'm like, I don't want to keep reading. This is so sad. I don't want to keep reading. <laughs> um, but I really love sad books. I very much recommend. <laughs> People are gonna like see me crying and they're gonna be like, why would I want to read a book that's gonna make me cry that hard? It's really good. But yeah, that was a really good book.
and I'm very happy I read it. Today I went to Barnes and Noble and I got the last two books. I started The Hate You Give earlier. Um, I'm not gonna read any more today. I'm gonna continue tomorrow. So let's re read. <laughs> So I just finished the book. I have the cover thing off. It was so good. <laughs> it was a really good book. Um, not too long. I felt like, like when I started it, that at some point I thought I was gonna get like bored and not want to finish it. That did not happen. Like it was interesting throughout the whole thing. I finished it in two days. Um, I'm gonna watch the movie either today or tomorrow. Probably today, actually. Like right now <laughs> i'm watching the hate you give right now the movie and chris is kj appa i'm gonna cry no no chris is not kj appa chris is not kj appa <laughs> why start reading it like right now right now I have only just finished the first chapter and it's already way more different than the movie um, I'm halfway through I can already say the book is better than the movie <laughs> it's so good it is so good it's my favorite so far out of all the books I've read there's so many quotes that I've been like I want that quote tattooed on my brain <laughs> This is all I have left, and I am absolutely terrified. I am terrified, I'm scared, I'm worried, I'm a little excited. It is absolutely criminal that this part is not in the movie. If you've read the book, I'm talking about Finch's birthday. I haven't finished the whole thing, so maybe it gets really bad. <laughs> <laughs> but at least at the beginning, his birthday, the way they celebrate it, I am angry that this is not in the movie. This should have been in the movie. So maybe I jinxed it. Um, the birthday didn't end good. <laughs> this seems like a convincing chapter. It's gonna happen. So I'm gonna I'm gonna film myself. back I've calmed down a little bit so my end thoughts best book I've read this month so far even if you have seen the movie I recommend reading this tomorrow that I'm probably gonna watch the movie again <laughs> um, I am indeed crying I just finished watching the movie again I think now is a good time to finally explain why I'm reading Looking for Alaska last, even though it was like the first book I got. So I've seen the show twice. I don't just want to say it's my favorite show because I feel like that doesn't do justice to how I feel about it. I don't know why I will tear up at it if I think about it for too long. There's something about it. I don't know what it is there's multiple reasons but it it just it means so much to me <laughs> and I, I've never read the book before and I'm reading it and as you'll see in the next clip I started reading it last night and I was tearing up over things that I shouldn't have dirt up over like it was just normal things that I was like crying about and this sounds so incredibly cheesy but there, like, there are literally no words to describe how much I love the show. Like, I can't, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I can't explain it because it's... <laughs> so 
So I'm starting looking for Alaska tonight. I'm probably only going to read one chapter. I did not think I was going to cry this early. Literally, do you want to know what page I'm crying at? It's literally making me cry. So I'm really looking for Alaska, right? And <laughs> it says eight days before. I'm on the last chapter before the after section. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to read. I don't want to read. I've never had like a tear fall. <laughs> Almost done with the book. Oh, two tears just came. Look at them, they're so synchronized. just finished looking for Alaska. I feel like I don't know what to say. Like when I was describing how I feel about the show. This book is really good. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, probably, I'm going to binge watch the whole show again. I think this is my favorite book I've read this month. We all know I paint on my wall. So I saw a TikTok of this girl who had quotes on her wall. She didn't say if she had printed them and stuck them on her wall, if she had like written them on her wall, but it gave me the idea to put quotes on my wall. So now along with my paintings, I'm going to be writing quotes from books that I love. Right now I have four quotes, two from Looking for Alaska and two from All the Bright Places. So I'm gonna show you those now. So these are the, all the quotes. I'm not gonna show you them because they are spoilers, but that's what it looks like. <laughs> and so I'll, I'll be painting more, adding more quotes, you know. I just finished rewatching Looking for Alaska. Highly recommend. Watch the show right now. It's incredible. Um, I've cried off literally like all of my makeup. It's on Hulu, and if you don't have Hulu, you can watch it on this website. So good. It is so, so good. So I'm gonna end the video looking like this because I just, I think it's fitting for the events that have happened in this video. <laughs> That's all for today. Like the video if you liked it, leave a comment down below if you'd like to see. Also comment down below other book suggestions if you have any because, you know, I'll, I'll read them. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know about every time I upload a new video. Bye! <laughs>